Hello, everybody. This is Mrs. Roberts. Welcome to my kitchen. I have a new story, and this one I wrote for a special student at my school. Okay, Ramari, this story is for you. It's called, What a Crazy Day. Enjoy. Hello, my name is Ramari. My birthday was today, a Wednesday. I was pretty excited. I knew after school, my family would celebrate with me. Family birthday parties were always so much fun. I woke up and thought of school. Today was my day. My class would get to join me while we ate cupcakes and had a party. A party usually meant free time to talk, eat, and see a movie maybe. Well, the day started out great. The bus ride to school was smooth. No fights or hearing the bus driver yell. Thank goodness. Then I walked into the building. Things started to go downhill. Right away, I heard loud crying in the hall. One of the girls from my class was having a fit. My head sunk a little. Ugh. This meant the day would start out bad. My teacher would probably be in a bad mood. The poor teacher came into the hall to see what was going on. He stole my poppet, the girl wailed. Who stole it? Who is he, the teacher said. The girl, she pointed at me. <laughs> I just got here, I started to yell. But my friends had my back. Yeah, he just walked in, they said. Oh, she thought she was trying to blame me. Well, that was finally settled. The poppet was in the bottom of her backpack the whole time. The problem was we wasted 30 minutes of our day trying to figure it out. When is my birthday party? I asked the teacher. She said, we'll see. A little later, I said, can we have my birthday party now? She said, no, it's too close to our special. Special was art today. That's okay, I thought. Art is fun, but not today. We were painting and I spilled paint all over my pants. I went to the nurse and she said, mm, maybe you should just go home. No way, I shouted. It's my birthday and I want to have a party. The nurse finally found me some pants and I got to go back to class. When can we have my party? I asked my teacher again. Before she could answer, students started fighting in the hall. She jumped up and ran out. My head sunk a little lower. Oh, by the time she came back in, it was time to go to lunch. I asked, can we have my party after lunch? My teacher said, we'll see. But the minute we all sat down in our chairs after lunch, the loudspeaker started beeping. 
Fire drill! Ugh. We all had to line up and head outside. It was freezing out there. But I didn't mind. I knew we were about to have my birthday party. We walked quietly back into the classroom. Now students, my teacher said, this was it. It was gonna be party time. Now students, pull out your English ELA homework. What? I yelled. I thought we were gonna have my party. She just gave me a stern look. And I sat down. We completed English. And then we had to do math. And then the phone rang, <laughs> the one on the wall. My teacher took the call. Now we'll never have time for my party, I thought. I had given up. My head was on the desk and I was feeling pretty low. Then we heard a knock at the door. I peeked up, and who do you think I saw? My mom! She carried in two boxes of pizza, and she had salad, too. The security guard then followed her in the room, and he had a bag full of drinks in one arm, and he had chips in the other. And then finally, my principal walked in with 28 cupcakes. My head popped up from the desk and I began to smile. It was time. Time for my party. Well, the day ended just great. That had been my mom on the phone. She was here in the office with all the goodies. Well, it was a good day because I knew my friends had my back this morning and my birthday with my family was just wonderful. I even forgot for a while what a crazy day it was. Happy birthday to me. Signing off. Ramari. The end. Well, Ramari, I hope you enjoyed your birthday story. And I do want to say happy birthday. It's a little late, but better late than never. All right, hon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. And I will be reading to you soon.